it's long. It's a long time. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, it's been a while. The reason that we held this picnic is, is to uh, let people know that we're still looking and that we're still hoping that God will let her come home to us sometime. But I'm glad that we have this uh, this reminder. It keeps us keeps us focused on why we're here. And it's not just a picnic. It's not just visiting. It's for Tamara. I'm glad that she is well known and that her they have her name on the forefront because uh, we're still hoping. We're still looking. And it is important that we have a reminder that hey, this is Tamara's picnic. You know, like I said before keep it in the forefront of our minds why we're here. It is a active investigation, although we're not getting many tips anymore. So it's events like today where we bring profile to uh, the disappearance of Tamara. It was 14 years ago, um, and again, by raising profile, um, discussing it, having our community involved, we're hoping that somebody will come forward with some information that will allow us to work on this. I worked in an investigative unit at the same time Tamara went uh, missing. We were all pulled into this investigation to help out at one point in time. Um, each and every one of us want to find resolution. We want to bring closure to the family. So that's the part that's, that's troublesome for us. Um, it's not just about you know, giving closure to to ourselves. It's about giving closure to the community and to the family and letting them know what happened to their loved one. And, and that's a challenge for us. And, and that's why, you know, we're a competitive bunch. We want to make sure that we solve solve crimes and, and give give families the uh, the closure that they so, they, they deserve that closure, so.